Gather around, deathlings, and I shall weave you a tale of woe. People tell me all the time that their friends, family, strangers treat them poorly because of their interest in or connection to death. Usually I say something like, but you're on the right side of history, don't let him get you down. But I wanted to apologize sincerely for not saying strongly enough that that's really hard to hear and that it hurts. I've been on a book tour for a couple of months, which means traveling around, gabbing about death acceptance, meeting wonderful people, exhausting, but a great time. So I get back home and my partner and I decide to rent a little cabin about an hour outside of LA on Airbnb, which I've done a bunch of times before. So we get there, it's very cute, very rural. There's like a sad goat on a neighboring property that keeps making sad goat noises. But other than that, second night we're there. It's around 10.30, we get home from dinner. Ding, 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 you have an email message. It's from the guy who owns the cabin, who I have never met, by the way. Wow, I see that you have a major blog, The Order of the Good Death, and a Google search, Caitlin Doty, mortician to the internet. This is totally not the vibe we want for our vacation home. I am sure you understand that by renting our house for your night's stay, you do not, capitals, have the right or permission to license or publish any photos, details, or historical facts of your stay without our permission or consent. I am sure you understand. So first reaction to this is genuine creeps. It's always nice to know somebody is researching you late at night while you're staying at their rural property. By the way, there are also cameras around outside, including one like hidden in a bird feeder. But the most important question is, of course, what did he think I was planning to do? Seance, ghost hunting, burying bodies in the backyard, chicken sacrifice, black magic, spritzing formaldehyde from a spray bottle in every corner of every room. You know, death stuff. Death stuff all over your cabin. We both looked at each other and went, mm, I don't really feel super comfortable here anymore. So we decided to just leave that night. Originally, I was thinking, oh, Oh, so you don't want to be associated with me, huh? Well, you're going to be associated with me now and put all of his links in the description. But I don't really want to fight with him anymore. And there are bigger fish to fry. I am lucky that I have a platform to speak. So when someone says, oh, all that stuff you're into is like morbid and a little creepy, right? I get to say no. I think that it's more that I am in tune with the knowledge that death is the fundamental aspect of the human experience. Are you? Join me here in reality. Any of you on any level who are sticking by your guns and having the conversation about death, I salute you. Brought to you with support from People's Memorial Association and the Co-op Funeral Home and donations from viewers like you.